Greetings, fellow travelers, and welcome to my all-time favorite exhibit. Today, we will begin to immerse ourselves into Central and South America and find ourselves surrounded by plants, animals, as well as the sounds and colors of this region. Zoo Miami's Amazon Beyond sits on 27 acres and is home to over 600 animals representing 100 plus species. Here we will trek among jaguars, harpy eagles, and giant river otters. First though, we will explore the central village, which is surrounded by the three habitat areas representing the Amazon. Each of these regions will be explored in upcoming videos. Our journey will begin up the path from the village plaza, and here we will start to appreciate how big the majority of the exhibits are for the animals here at Zoo Miami. Black-handed spider monkeys prefer to live in the upper canopy of forest in Central and South America. They live in large groups of about 30 individuals, although groups of up to 100 have been reported. These large groups will split into smaller subgroups to forage for food. Their long, slender limbs, prehensile tail, and hook-like hands make foraging through the trees possible. Their tail is used for a fifth limb for activities such as hanging, swinging, throwing objects, and picking up fruit. Typically their diet consists of fruit, but they will eat flowers, nuts, leaves, seeds, and insects. When threatened, they will emit a barking sound in an attempt to ward off predators. Next up is a rotating species exhibit, and the first animal for us to spot is the guanaco, which are ancestors of the domestic llama. Foot pads are small and movable, helping these animals to move securely over narrow trails and gravel slopes. They live in small groups of about 20 animals with one male per group. Found only in Gran Chaco, an arid region of Argentina, Bolivia, and Paraguay, the Chacon Picri looks like a pig with long bristly hair, but it is in a different family called Teosudae. These are the native pigs of the Americas and only includes three living species. This is the largest of the three Picri species. Picris live in social groups and may communicate with a variety of sounds, including grunting. Picris also communicate with scent glands, which are located on their back, with which they mark their territory. To cool off, they'll seek shelter in the shade or wallow in mud hollows, and the population of these pickeries is declining due to habitat loss and overhunting. As a central entry point into Amazon Beyond, the Village Plaza houses the children's Fiesta Fountain water play area, the Fiesta Cafe, encounters with small animals, climbing structures, and sometimes live musical performances. Five wall displays make up the exhibits for the Village Plaza. Here we will find a variety of reptiles and amphibians. When we return, we will pass through the gate and see what life calls the Amazon home. Thanks for joining me on this first look at the Amazon and beyond at Zoo Miami. This is Brad, and I will see you where our adventures take us next. Until next time, safe travels, everyone.